As much as I love Albedo, I think my grandma was alive the last time he was on a rerun. Because Jesus Christ, it's been way too fucking long. And are we probably ever going to get an Albedo rerun? No. Albedo is a character who has not had a rerun in almost or even over a year now. So it's safe to say that not a lot of people have him. But to the people that do have him or want to pull for him, he has actually got a use now. More than just being this off-field buffer for your other characters. That was really only there to replace Shangling. He actually has a use now, and that comes with everyone's favourite 5 star character, Navia, who just came out in this most recent update. I've had my fair share of Navia, so we really don't have to talk about her. I know that people are really like talking about her as well, but that's besides the point. Her and Albedo are like bread and butter, but Navia is the bread, and Albedo is just trench foot. Because honestly, he hasn't been in the game since the World War 2 days. Everyone who has ever served World War 2 loves hearing noises that bring them back to their past. But if you elemental burst with Navia, the most of damage that will be done will be to your granddad's arm. If you don't know much about Albedo's kit, let me clue you in. Obviously, Albedo's normal attacks are pretty useless since he is in off field. His elemental skill does geo damage over time, and it's like a cool little flower, but that's besides the point. And his burst is just like a simple burst, where really. just just an instance of damage, but that's really it. So it's not really worth leveling. You really only want to be focusing on that elemental skill because it does do the most damage and biggest amount of application. Now, Geo application obviously never really mattered for any character because they didn't really give a shit about the reaction. Well, we all know that Navia's predominant playstyle is that she needs those crystallized shards, and Albedo is probably the best Geo applicator for the job. This skill could actually do quite a lot of damage over time, and considering the fact that it's constant and you're constantly using other elements with your characters, you're going to get those crystallized stacks in no time. Now, do I recommend pulling Albedo solely for this reason? No. But do I recommend not pulling him? Also, no. Albedo is an extremely underrated character since he is Geo. It means that he doesn't have to worry about disturbing your team's reactions. The same way how Crow units can be used in Hyper Bloom teams and they can be work respectively. That's why like Ayaka is really good on the Hyper Bloom team. Because you have Ayaka, Kokomi, and your Dendro and Electro. So you're pretty much freezing and hyper blooming at the same time. It's got like a fridge team, it's amazing. So Albedo also works in that kind of way and he's also like an amazing support for any other character really. I know that Double Geo Hutao was really popular back in the day. And that's predominantly because for some reason one of Albedo's talents gives you elemental mastery when you use his E or burst, something like that. But it's fucking insane, honestly. Obviously he's not going to do you as good as a Jangling or maybe even... Farina. So when it does come to that choice, you probably want to pick Farina, but if you like him and want to use him with Navi, you absolutely can because he is probably one of her best support characters. Zhongli is there for the comfort, but if you can dodge, if you can heal or something, then I absolutely recommend bringing him on. If Navi is burst is doing an application, and so is his skill, you are pretty much getting zero time in between application. Since you have two characters applying the same element, you will not go wrong. Obviously, Jungli can also apply this element, but it's not something he can do like over time, I guess. At least not consistently, because when you hold his skill, you want to swap instantly. And it's really kind of like rough trying to figure out where to put his skill, so like the little bit of this pillar does the damage. Albedo's overall better for the job, in my opinion, and you will succeed doing that. So, to the 4% of players that actually did pull for him, you may use her with Navia. She's amazing. He's amazing. And they go together. Like bread and butter. Obviously, as we all know, all the Albedo owners are so old that they probably have trench foot, but that's besides the point. But the biggest problem for him, I'd say, is his best in slot is a four star weapon that isn't on banner and it won't ever be on a banner because he is exclusive to the event. So if you have that defense weapon, then you should absolutely go pull for him. I'm sure there are some other good alternatives for him, but if you want the maximum amount of damage, you'd probably look into it. In general, just seeing this makes me very happy because I like Albedo as a character a lot and he's kind of been falling behind and outclassed by many other characters. And now Navia kind of brings him back into this space where he can work alongside her really well, giving her the reactions she needs, giving her the stacks she needs in order to be able to do the most damage possible because you want that. As always, thanks for listening to me, Yap. I love you all. Like, comment. Follow my Twitch in the bio, please, and good night.